Welcome back to my channel, Cord Cutting and Sports. This is going to be a short video that uh, is just going to have some updates on uh, the various websites where you can download or save slash record uh, either live events or replays of sporting events and the various programs that you can use uh, on those different websites and just some other notes and basic information to be aware of. So, uh, you know, as I mentioned in some of my other more recent videos, if you want to see the specific steps in order to use, you know, these programs to download, save, record um, uh, games, you know, whether live or replays, uh, please check out, you know, my other videos where I go through step by step to show you the actual command you run and type in and where you get the URL that you're going to use and where you get the authorization key, um, for example, for ESPN Plus events. So check out those other videos. Check out the playlist on my channel. There's, you know, basically playlists for Streamlink, for YouTube DL, um, and there's also a separate playlist for like, you know, a bunch of updates I did in fall of 2022. All right, so first I'm just going to talk about the ESPN channels. So there's a table uh, that you should see on the screen now, and it's broken down by, you know, a bunch of the different, like, types of channels. So at the top of the first row, you've got all of basically the main ESPN cable channels. So these are now using a stream, which is .mpd, um, and so... The only way you can download these is using Streamlink. Uh, YouTube DL or YT-DLP, which is an offshoot of that, uh, do not work anymore to download those events. So anything from ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, ESPN News, ACC Network, or SEC Network, um, whether it's live or replay, you have to use Streamlink. And, and I, you know, basically I've gone through this in previous videos, once you copy the URL that has MPD in it, what you do is you just change MPD to M3U8, and then that URL, which has M3U8 in it now, that's what you actually use in the Streamlink command to start running, uh, to run and to start downloading slash saving slash recording uh, the event. Again, check out my other videos if you want to see the specifics behind it. Now, for the other uh, types of channels, and these are mainly actually like streaming online only options, so this includes ACC Network Extra, SEC Network Plus, uh, ESPN3, or ESPN Plus, those all still run off your standard M3U8 URL, which means you can use Streamlink uh, to either uh, download or record both live events or replays, and you can also use still use YouTube DL to download uh, replays, and that's great because that will eliminate a bunch of the ads that they insert, you know, into the videos. So uh, for all three of these, it's just again basic M3 weight URL that you're looking for. Now a couple things to mention. So this is something I just noticed recently. Uh, when you have games, for example, college football, or it would apply to college basketball as well, that air on ACC Network and SEC Network. When you go to look for the replays of those games, they technically don't appear under ACC Network and SEC Network. They appear under ACC Network Extra and SEC Network Plus, which are te which are technically like online only uh, like sub channels of you know ACC Network and SEC Network. So just something to be aware of if you're trying to find replays of ACC Network and SEC Network events. You have to select, say, from the drop-down menu, ACC Network Extra or SEC Network Plus to actually find those events. Um, ESPN3, you know, standard, pretty much it's been the same for the past, you know, whatever, two, three, four years long since I've been doing this. Of course, ESPN Plus requires an authorization key, and that is found on the, basically, it's called the Dust menu in the Network tab. So you type Dust in the filter box, and then eventually it'll show up. It's usually like 25 seconds after the event loads. And of course, you can access all these events at the website listed on the screen. All right, next let's talk about uh, some of the Fox channels. So this includes uh, the, you know, the main broadcast channel, Fox, uh, FS1, and also uh, BTN, Big Ten Network, because in order to watch that, you technically go to the Fox Sports uh, you know, website or app. So <clears throat> all of these channels uh, are still using like you know, traditional M3 weight URL. So for Fox and FS1, uh, that means, of course, you can use both Streamlink or YouTube DL. Uh, Streamlink, of course, will work for live, uh, recording live events, but also for replays. YouTube DL, of course, will only work for replays only. One thing I will mention, 
is that I've been having some issues with trying to download uh, replays of events from the Fox Sports website where they keep repeatedly timing out and I end up having to just, you know, repeatedly copying and pasting and then running the YouTube DL command like over and over and over again. It downloads like 1% of it. And then I run again, it downloads like another 2 to 3%. And then, um, you know, it takes like 20 or 30 times you have to paste it before it finally finishes. I don't know why that's happening exactly, but it still does eventually download the whole event. Another thing to be aware of is that replays of certain games uh, seem to disappear after only a few days, while others will stay up for weeks or months at a time. So, like, you can scroll back now uh, and you can find events that happened in September that are still up there to watch and to you know, download or save, but then there's other events that maybe just happened last week, especially the FS1 games, um, like uh, whether it's on the weekend or sometimes the Thursday night ones that uh, aren't there, you know, that are gone after like three or four days. So just be aware of that. Now, BTN, unfortunately, you can only review the, uh, you can only uh, download save the live events so of course you have to use streamlink because the replays of btn games or events uh are exclusive to the btn plus you know service which is basically a separate subscription service that also carries you know a bunch of live uh events for other sports outside of uh football you know like olympic sports um that don't appear, you know, basically on a TV that are online only. So uh, just be aware of that. And then all the games and replays from the Fox Sports website, you can find at the website, uh, you know, listed um, below. The replays are just all the way at the bottom. You have to scroll down and then you can see them. All right, next I want to talk about the CBS channel. So this includes the main CBS, you know, broadcast channel and also CBS Sports Network. Uh, they are both currently using, you know, an M3U8 uh, URL. Um, so, of course, you can use Streamlink, and you can only use Streamlink because these are only basically streaming live events. So, this is the college football games on CBS, um, and <laughs> CBS Sports Network, I mean, obviously, it would be whatever programming is airing on that channel. Um, for CBS, it'll also uh, stream the NFL games, but for those, you do have to log in with authentication, whereas compared to the uh, the college football games, you do not need any authentication. You don't need a subscription to a TV service in order to watch those. Those are just free to anyone on the website. So you can use Streamlink uh, to download, record, or save live events on either of those channels. It actually works pretty well. You know, I've grabbed a couple Ohio State games that have aired on CBS, have not had any issues. You can see the uh, website links below. These will, of course, be in the description of the video. And so with that being said, uh, like I said at the very beginning, check out my other videos, which will show step-by-step -step instructions how to use Streamlink and YouTube TL, you know, to download, record, save uh, videos from the specific uh, websites, including the commands that you run and where to, you know, download Streamlink, how to install Streamlink, you know, where to download YouTube DL from. Otherwise, if you have any questions or comments, uh, reach out to me via email. You can leave them in this video uh, as well you know, in the comment section below. And of course, check out you know my website, which has links to the PDF you know guides like my college football cord cutting guide, NFL cord cutting guide, and other uh, resources as well.